Welcome back. Bird lovers from all over the Northeast will be kind of flapping their wings to Middletown this weekend <laughs> for what's known as Feather Fest. News 8's Ryan Christopher caught up with the event organizer mm. and founder of the Connecticut Parrot Society. Good morning. Good morning. Who, who knew that there was such thing, right? A Feather Fest. A Feather Fest. It's coming <laughs> up this weekend right here in Connecticut. And the organizers, Bob and Barbara Cosgrove, they never thought that they'd have a parrot, but now they have a flock. The birds with us right now are macaws, and they're naturally found in South America, Central America. Mm. See how they use their feet as they use their feet like hands. Usually, what they do is they'll peel the outside of the grape and just eat the pulp. And the macaws can live 80 or 90 years. Yeah, I just fell in love with parrots and, and their ability to you know communicate and how they actually bond with the people. In other words, we become their flock. They pass wind through their throats and manipulate it with the tongue, and so they don't have vocal cords like people do. So do you have to be a Jimmy Buffett fan to have a parrot? No, you don't. No, I'm uh, neither Barb or I, or um, we have some that speak in both our voices. I hear, hey, Bob, hey, Bob, which is my wife's favorite expression, <laughs> hey, Bob. And I'd come upstairs, and I'd be looking around for my wife, and she's not even in the house, or she's out shopping somewhere. And... Do they ever get caught uh, <laughs> yes. a little naughty yes. language? Yeah, yeah. We, we, and for the, in our adoption, program we had a green wing macaw she belonged to a guy that belonged to a motorcycle club this bird had quite a vocabulary <laughs> but we found a uh, retired marine that okay. <laughs> didn't seem to mind it I had uh, the blue and gold I had him on my lap <laughs> kind of looked up at me like that and he goes I love you Very intelligent animals mm. there. Have, yeah. have, have you guys ever experienced a macaw like that? Have no, you ever been no. close to one? Well, yeah. ch check it out this weekend at Feather Fest. Uh, it's this Saturday at the Elks Club in Middletown from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. I, I can attest I had two macaws as a little kid. Yeah. Wow. And uh, once sunrise came up, uh, you weren't going back to bed because those things were uh, making some noise. Become chatty Cathy's they in the morning. <laughs> they sure do, yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. Thanks, Ryan. And you can watch all of Ryan's other Cruising Connecticut segments anytime, anywhere, right on your smartphone. Just download our free. Free News 8 app.